Let's see. Hello. Uh, welcome. I just started recording. This is the Aperio Teaching and Learning Call for Wednesday, January 6, 2016, the first call of the new year. So uh, welcome, everyone. Um, the agenda, let me, I think I posted it. It's in the chat. So you can click onto the Ether tool, Etherpad, and uh, sign up. Um, so the agenda as usual. Structure, <clears throat> welcome. Project updates and announcements. Um, oh, I have the wrong thing there. Oh, I guess that's uh, updates and announcements. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then Jira of the week. Uh, and um, I have an idea for that if nobody else does. Um, and then, you know, we're, we're going to discuss the Sakai camp, which is coming up later in the in the month, and just kind of get people people brainstorming a little bit about, you know, what they're hoping might come out of that. And uh, that that could be an interesting discussion. And then upcoming schedules. Um, the other thing, Tricia and Matt Burgess and I, we met um, to discuss the schedule. And so I guess an idea to put on the agenda is whether we want to change this maybe to meeting every other week instead of every week. So we can have that as an agenda item. Um, and so let's just get going down the agenda here. So um, project updates. Uh, Sakai 10.6 has been released into the wild uh, and for the community. Um, and there's release notes available for it for that. One thing that's been happening on the development list uh, is Tomcat, apparently, which is a, a piece of soft open source piece of software that uh, Sakai depends on. Um, we tested it on one version of of uh, Tomcat, which we released, and then apparently uh, Tomcat released a new version that breaks things. And then it's a Tomcat bug, and then Tomcat's going to be releasing. Uh, an update and fixing that. So um, the version, <clears throat> so I'll just kind of mention that quickly. Let's see, get the notes here. Um, and that doesn't happen very often, but uh, you can safely use a 10.6 uh, or Sakai 10, any of the Sakai 10 with uh, Tomcat 7.0.65 uh, version and then it breaks in Tomcat after that, and Tomcat's releasing soon a 7.0.68 that should work again. So I thought that mm, a little on the technical side for this call, but just it seemed like a good general announcement. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, so 10.6 is released. Tomcat. Uh, 7.065. Um, I left from the last meeting, I just copied and pasted mentioning that uh, we might look at um, anyone who's interested in doing an EDUCAUSE presentation uh, and including Sakai, that could be a nice way to get Sakai out there. It's rather uh, costly to have a presence at Educause. So if you happen to be doing that, let us know, let a Perio know, let me know. We'd be interested in supporting that effort. Um, maybe helping put together the content, that sort of thing. Uh, tool by tool testing, I'll mention again, that's a thing I don't think it's happening at the moment because of the holidays, but probably will get going again. That's the Morpheus testing. And generally, now that 10.6 is released, um, the community is going to be focusing a lot of energy on Sakai 11. And, uh, uh, you know, and that's part of it. That's one aspect of Sakai 11 QA. So getting QA ramped up will be a, a huge, um, important success factor in getting Sakai 11 released in a timely fashion and, and a good quality. So be on the lookout for more about that. Uh, Raleigh, that's the uh, accessibility uh, plan to get Sakai certified in accept to be, uh, as accessible. And there's big news on that. And there's a 1 p.m. meeting today if you all, anyone is interested in joining. Um, they, I believe, have signed or very close to signing a contract with a vendor that's going to be doing the discovery and helping us along with this with that certification process. 
So um, we can explain what the community needs are and that sort of thing. That's being led by Matt Clare, the chair of the accessibility group. Um, so those are a couple of announcements I can think of. Uh, any other announcements? <clears throat> I see some chatting. I was, let's see. Right. Yeah, I was, I was I just see. kind of filling in on your uh, EDUCAUSE announcement. Um, because we think about the dates and uh, the location as we sort of plan our budgets. And uh, I looked it up. It's in Anaheim this year, the big one. But the uh, the more intimate uh, regional conferences may be more accessible for some of us. And personally, I, 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 I'm really drawn to those smaller regional events. Yeah, I can understand that. I, I, the, the big Educause one is, is uh, massive, can be a bit overwhelming. And the re but the reason I mention it is because I think that the deadline for presentations is January 20th for the big one, if you're going there. Oh, good. Oh, that's really amazing that they have it so many months in advance. Yeah. Um, any other announcements or clarifying comments? I also saw your clarifying comment about what Tomcat is. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's the container for web for web applications and Sakai is web application for Java web applications. So <clears throat> any other announcements or questions? Okay. Good. Uh, feel free if you think of something uh, to jump in and interrupt or put something in the chat. Um, so one of the things that uh, me and Trisha and Matt Burgess were thinking is maybe we should consider uh, starting, we do have an upcoming schedule, which we'll talk about in a second here. Um, actually, let me talk about that now a little bit, uh, the upcoming schedule. And then we were wondering, we were going to put out a proposal and see if folks thought maybe an every other week schedule instead of an every week schedule would be, uh, um, you know, more appropriate. Yeah, twice monthly, Terry, or, or every two weeks, um, one of those two. Uh, twice monthly is a little less frequently than every other week. I think we were kind of thinking every other week, but twice monthly could work as well. Um, the upcoming topics, uh, January 13th, we've got loading in university pictures into Sakai profiles uh, from folks from Wake Forest are presenting. So we will keep that scheduled the way it is. Uh, January 20th is open. Uh, January 27th, we're going to reschedule that one because a number of us will be in Sakai Camp. Um, Sakai Camp, that's the Wednesday of Sakai Camp, and Sakai Camp is officially Monday and Tuesday of that week, but a number of folks are staying over through a good chunk of Wednesday. So we're going to reschedule the Panopto integration, and then we thought it might be a cool idea to have a report back from Sakai Camp uh, the week after, or two weeks after, um, you know, we get back so we can, you know, kind of debrief on that. Um, so that's kind of some of the upcoming stuff. And so I was curious if, uh, oh, I see some some good comments here. Uh, Wilma's saying, I think every other week sounds good. And Laura's saying twice monthly. <coughs> any other Any other thoughts on that? Feel free to chat or just jump in with uh, your microphone. Oh, sure. I'll jump in again with my microphone because I like talking to you, Neil. Yeah, I, I'm in support of going to twice monthly. I think we can have a, a more robust agenda that way. Oh, Terry, I hope we don't forget. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good idea um, that we could schedule addition, additional meetings when needed. Um, and Adam, thank you for the appreciation for the effort that goes in the sessions. Yeah, I think that reducing it uh, does reduce the workload and um, I think, you know, hopefully, you know, makes for meteor, some meteor agenda as, as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I think a good part, a big part of this is just staying connected and, and talking and seeing what's going on in the community together. and. Um, so having something regular, you know, seems like the right thing. Just maybe 
a little less regular. Um, so was there any thoughts like, Laura, why you're thinking twice monthly versus every other week? I don't have a very strong uh, preference either way, but just curious. Terry, Terry writes, twice monthly means we could say second and fourth week each month and not worry about the odd fifth week. That's a good point. <clears throat> All right, well, I will take that feedback and I'll also post, usually like what we do for decisions is, um, you know, have an initial discussion and then post out to the list and see kind of the feedback we get on the list because obviously not everybody can attend uh, every call, and um, so we'll give other op people an opportunity to chime in. Thank you. Um, moving on to the JIRA of the week. So one thing I had an idea of, I, I don't know if anyone has an idea uh, uh, for a JIRA. Does anyone have a JIRA that they particularly wanted to uh, cover? If not, let me tell you what my idea is. Um, what I thought might be kind of cool is to mention a few of the, uh, a couple of JIRAs have been fixed. I thought I'd mention a couple of the JIRAs that we have discussed on this call and let you know that they've been resolved. Because sometimes, you know, what happens is we give input into JIRAs and then we may or may not uh, know if those ever got addressed or not. So a couple things that have come up Lately, I see two issues that were fixed recently uh, over almost the holidays. So one is, I'll paste this one in. And this is going to be for Sakai uh, 11. Let me put that version there. And then the other one is, uh, well, let's talk about that. And then there was one more that got fixed very recently, uh, which I thought might be worth mentioning as, as part of STEP. Um, STEP is still going on. We're not totally complete with it, but getting very, very close, um, um, especially hitting our, the main issue, which uh, um, when, we, when we get it finished, we'll bring back to the group. Oh, Adam Marshall says, I think we should talk about the Morpheus agreements. Uh, okay, we could certainly do that. So we could do a quick, not now, but some other week. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll put that, that link in, though, so people can have a chance to review the Morpheus uh, agreements. Yeah, it's a big topic. We could certainly make that a topic in and of itself. <clears throat> but uh, so folks can see. The JIRA that you did put in is very exciting that uh, the input from the teaching and learning group has made it all the way through. That's really huge. Yeah, there's a number of, uh, you know, things that, that make that happen. And, um, you know, this one did go all the way through the reorganization of settings, uh, making uh, it clear for group and peer assessment settings. And I think that the outcome of that looks really, really nice. Uh, there's a screenshot. There, in fact, I guess I can share my screen so I can have this on the recording. Let's see. Oh, it's getting it's getting close to that time when um, I might lose audio, unfortunately, because I seem to lose audio every single session that I use Big Blue Button for some reason. Um, let me go ahead and try recording. About 20 minutes starting. in. That's right, approximately 20 minutes in, which is about now for me because I came in on a few minutes early. Let's and see. that's when start talking like a fish underwater, right? Um, I don't know if those two are related or not. <laughs> okay. And, and you know, uh, so... Can you hear me? I'm back now. Yeah, that uh, my was I was going right about on target there, so I'm back. <laughs> um, and uh, there's there's a screenshot of what it's going to look like in Sakai 11. So the 
uh, I really like it because the access is really clearly separated out. Who has access to this assignment? Is it to the whole site or just selected groups? And then the other options are, you know, that are really more about functionally how you want this assignment to work. Do you want it to be a peer assignment, a peer assessment? Do you want it to be a group submission? Um, you know, those things are, are separate. At some point, if we make some of these things a little more compatible, for example, if, if at a later time people can do peer assessment um, using um, specific groups and not to the whole site, which is a possibility that's being discussed, then that, you know, this might change into a checkbox instead of a radio button. But the reason is the radio button is because when you use peer assessment, then you, then you don't have the option, do not have the option of doing it at the group level at the, at the moment. So a uh, pretty nice thing there. And the other one I was going to show, let's see, is this the TNL? Cool. <coughs> um, new question type image map. Um, this is part of step. I'm going to open up a new JIRA though. Uh, this one is an Im a new question type image, uh, not like a hotspot image map type of uh, question type that's also in Sakai 11. And the one thing it's missing, and I'll be opening a JIRA for, and it'll be nice if we can get it done, is it does it, it does support it does support popping the question type forward to you know future sites from old sites. But what it does not support in this version is um, QTI, which is the ability to export into a flat file and then be able to import it into another site at a different time. And so I need to open a JIRA for that, uh, or somebody does. Uh, hopefully we can get that that address. If that's an issue for folks, we'll put that in the release notes. If that ends up being an issue for folks, and if we don't get that resolved for Sakai 11, you can always turn off question types. Like some, you know, we that that's a configuration item where you can turn on particular question types or turn off particular question types in San Miguel, just as an FYI. Um, I didn't hear it. Is anyone talking? I'm still here to hear you. Although Adam M said you were gone. And Adam Harwas as well. Yeah, I was gone for just a few seconds. I was gone, and then I, I then I rejoined. I, I might so I stay joined, but I lose my audio, and then I have to go through a little process to get back on. And I did that, so I was just on off for like thirty seconds or less. <laughs> okay, most of us here seem to be hearing you. Thank you. So those are a couple of the, the um, items that have been recently fixed. I thought people might be interested in those. And as Adam mentioned, there's a Google Doc. There's been some Morpheus is our responsive design that I'm sure all of you know about because we've talked about it multiple, multiple times. And it's our responsive design, our, one of our maybe um, big feature for Sakai 11. And the Morpheus group had a lot of decisions to make. And as Adam pointed out, Adam Marshall pointed out, it's a big discussion, so we probably don't, don't have time. Uh, if we have time, we can come back and, and start the discussion because I don't know how much time we'll really need for the Sakai camp discussion. We'll see. But um, what we had to do was make, you know, the, the Morpheus group had to kind of make some judgment calls on certain types of issues and how we wanted to do things because there are different ways you can implement um, responsive design. So that's what that document is. It's totally open. We kind of settled on it, you know, we didn't have a hundred percent consensus on everything, but we had a mostly we had a pretty strong consensus on most items, and there was a couple of things we debated, and not everyone agreed. But we really needed to sort of nail it down because we need to move Sakai 11 forward, you know, so that we don't uh, disrupt um, the schedule. We want to get it out. We want to get all these items done. The target is to get all these things we agreed on done before Sakai camp. So that's kind of where things stand. So feel free to peruse this if we have time um, in this meeting we'll come back to it but uh, it could be a big discussion and potentially if you're interested uh, we could we could make this a topic for um, another meeting uh, certainly it's something I think that affects everybody and is pretty exciting so any other uh, <coughs> questions or uh, issues before we move on to the next topic Okay, so the next topic is Sakai Camp. So as you know, we're having Adam, Sakai Camp. Adam just posted a question here. Thank you, thank you, Laura. Uh, I have a candidate Jira of the week for subsequent week, but part of it involves a change in functionality from 2.9. Is there a QA 2.9 server anywhere for the purpose of comparison? Uh, there's, uh, 
not currently a QA29 server. I'm not anticipating one. Um, nobody stepped up to sort of help manage uh, a 2.9 server. So we have we have a 10 server and 11 server. I I I can show you how, and I know how to, uh, or maybe you already know how to download a local copy of 2.9 and bring it up. Um, so if you need help with that, I could probably help with that because that's not too hard to do. If that will help with your comparison. Cool, no problem. <coughs> um, so I'm going to bring up uh, the Sakai Camp uh, general info because on it it has a number of agenda items. So the way Sakai Camp is going to work, uh, I think the way it's going to work is I'll be working with Dr. Chuck Severance to come up with the overall structure. We kind of have an overall structure where Sunday we have some team building activities um, or, and or possibly something really fun. This will be in Orlando. Monday and Tuesday are the main meeting days, and then Wednesday we'll probably have an unconference time because I think a number of folks are going to be staying uh, through Wednesday morning, afternoon, and leaving Wednesday evening or Thursday morning. Um, <clears throat> so some of the topics that we are planning on covering include uh, open issues and details regarding Sakai 11. We're uh, anticipating branching, what we call branching Sakai 11. What that means is Right now, Sakai 11 is in our main Sakai development environment we call master, and it keeps constantly getting updated. And so at some point, in order to control what goes into it, we make a copy of it off to the side, what we call a branch. And then that way, um, the team has total control over what gets in and what doesn't get in. So folks who want to keep on working on Sakai, the main part they can, but now we can kind of um, have a relatively stable version of Sakai that we can start doing QA on and getting bug fixes on, and that's going to be the main focus to get Sakai out. Um, so we'll be, you know, covering those kinds of items and hopefully coming up with a really good schedule for Sakai 11. Uh, then brainstorming, planning a threat engine for Sakai 12. Uh, well, you know, a number of things that don't get in Sakai 11 will probably get in 12, or there might be some things that evolve over time. For example, the dashboard tool, which is new in Sakai 11, probably is going to need some additional evolution to make it, um, you know, really a special tool over time. So I'm imagining that would be something more for focus in 12. Um, it's also possible, depending on the accessibility timing, whether, you know, version Sakai 11 becomes um, certified uh, under VPAT or WCAG2 under the release of Sakai 11, or maybe that's a Sakai 12 thing. So those kinds of discussions, figuring out what goes in 12 and what goes in 11. Um, and then long-term strategies in terms of Sakai's place in the market. So that could be more, you know, blue sky kinds of things. Where should does Sakai really need to go in order for the long term to meet, um, you know, our community's needs and be an LMS market? I mean, it's a really important discussion. Um, other uh, things we're thinking about, IMS standards, App Store um, kind of environment. I don't know if you all are familiar with App Store ideas. But it's the idea that you have all these LTI tools out there by third-party vendors, and you can easily suck them into your LMS. Very makes it easier for instructors and administrators. Um, discuss how Sakai fits into overall portfolio of various projects. And then we have a place where you can suggest topics and add comments or questions. So please feel free to do that, and we'll take a look at that. So if you think of something after this meeting or something comes up during this meeting, you know, please feel free to fill out the Google form, and we will take those into consideration. Um, Hide of how, and there's a few more issues uh, I think that were mentioned. They're not here, but I remember there was a whole bunch of other things we were talking about potentially getting in uh, in the discussions. So um, the way that these meetings typically work, they're relatively small. They're small gatherings. We have 24 people registered right now. We have a nice mix of technical people, PMC. That's our you know community. Um, uh, those are the governance group for Sakai, the project management committee, and we also have non-technical uh, uh, representation, quite a significant non-technical representation. A really, really good mix. It should make for some great discussion. So <clears throat> the point of bringing this up here is to give you a heads up on that and also kind of see if there's um, any input from this group in terms of types of outcomes you might hope for or types of questions you might want to get answered. Uh, again, it will end up being primarily driven by the people who actually show up at the conference and will, you know, kind of like an unconference format, but knowing what the community is interested in 
um, could be very helpful and also could be very helpful in sort of reporting back to you, uh, you know, what, what actually transpires. So that's my spiel um, and I'll kind of open the floor and, and see what questions you have. Feel free to chime in by microphone or, or put something in the chat. If I stop sharing my screen, I can uh, maybe poke around for some of the other issues that we looked at. <coughs> First search event of Sakai Camp does not, does the event closed? No, I, didn't, I don't think it's closed. It's still live. No, I'm just checking it here in the administrative panel. It's still live. People could still join if they wanted to. Yeah, I'm trying to search for uh search for Sakai Camp on their site so that I don't have to type the string of numbers. Sakai Camp one word, Sakai Camp two words. Yeah, so I'll paste the link in um, for you. In, it's in the chat and it's also on the uh, Etherpad. And uh, I'm going to do a quick search because I think there were some other some other topics that came up as possible topics for like an unconference portion of the, uh, of the event. So, I have kind of a strange question, Neil. Yeah. Is a Chi 12 a foregone conclusion? What do you mean? Is Sakai 12 on the current code base a foregone conclusion? Sakai 12 for what? For sorry, I didn't catch the last part. The for, current, for the current code code base. Oh, the current code base. Yeah, I think uh, normally um, we shoot for you know continuously improving Sakai, and so I think I'm getting maybe uh, a sense of what you're trying to go for. Uh, I think Sakai 12 is likely to be a foregone conclusion because I anticipate. Since we have so much so much new in Sakai 11, it's, uh, from my understanding, for people who've been around the community a long time, this is one of the biggest releases ever. So it's a very, very, you know, huge amount of uh, new uh, features that I would anticipate that some things will need to evolve. As I mentioned, the dashboard, I anticipate that will need to evolve. Morpheus, you know, maybe we'll get some UX testing in and be able to change things before the Sakai 11 re release, or maybe we'll release it and get community input to continue to re evolving responsive design, for example. The gradebook, uh, NG, um, I wouldn't be surprised if some things emerge from that in terms of where we might want to evolve it. Um, lessons keeps evolving. So I would anticipate that Sakai 12 uh, would be a foregone conclusion. Um, <clears throat> you know, is it possible that we would ever redo, you know, have a different, are you asking if the Sakai 11 ever might go to a, like a different technology stack? Like be be done from the ground up. Is that kind of what you're asking? For Sakai. Hmm? Hello? I guess that's the topic for Sakai Camp. Was that kind of your question? Or your Yeah, well, I think that's a perhaps that's a topic for Sakai Camp. Yeah, it could be. I mean I think obviously doing uh, something from scratch is uh, is a huge effort. I mean, that's 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 a huge thing. So it would uh, that would be interesting. I mean, I can understand. Uh, so right, it could be a topic for Sakai Camp. What's the future of Sakai? I think it would be driven based on discussion of needs and discussion of you know resources or potential resources. But yeah, I have no idea. That's why I think that kind of thing beyond Sakai, you know, um, that one item which was uh, when I interpret um, discussion of long-term strategies in terms of Sakai's place in the market, that's I think kind of where it fits. It's like, okay, what, you know, where's Sakai now? Where's the market now? What are the needs? What are the what are the needs for a learning system? Um, and and where should we be going? And, and you know, is there a feasible way to get there? That would be my interpretation of that uh, particular item. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. So I did find some um, 
some of the other items that people mentioned is potentially if, if they don't fit on Monday, Tuesday, they could potentially go into uh, like a Wednesday meeting. I'll paste those into the chat. I'm not the chat, the um, either pad. Wednesday on conference topics. So uh, things like a new web service interface to Sakai, um, Oxford's mobile Sakai projects. So I guess they have a vision of um, you know evolving it, the mobile aspect of it. Um, potential hackathon. Um, Accessibility, uh, can we build checks into the workflow to maintain accessibility, especially since we have this huge effort to really push Sakai into uh, a certification. Um, some interest in internationalization, documentation, uh, OAE, and how that relates to open academic environment. Um, integrating with OAE, uh, so there's some interesting OAE kinds of uh, thoughts that we put out there, but it's really pretty open. So. So this kind of it's a, just an open uh, season at the moment in terms of um, what your interests are, and uh, you know, again, you know, what kinds of things you'd like to to discuss there. And I noticed that on this call we have at least let's say one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. I think like half of us on this call are actually going to the event, which is pretty cool. So any other thoughts or questions? Um, or hi, Neil. This is Wilma. Uh, I was just going to mention one of the things that we had hoped to talk about at Sakai Camp at some point. I'm not sure where in the agenda it would fit, but um, is the use of the virtual conference funds. We have a, a small group that's sort of discussing some potential um, projects that could be taken on with that amount of money, but we also wanted to get some feedback from the folks at Sakai Camp. Um, to kind of firm those up a little bit. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you for, for that. That reminds me that, you know, I was thinking, I haven't run this by the uh, farm group yet, but I was thinking it might make sense to also do a farm update, like how far, however far we are along the farm. Uh, process because I think we have made some good progress and getting some feedback on kind of how we're seeing the process and how we're seeing the uh, um, you know how it's going to be structured and getting some feedback on that might be cool uh, at least in, when I'm thinking about it and for those of you who may not be familiar I think you all are but um, you know farm is funding a new source model and it's this idea of can we create a structure in Sakai for crowdsourcing, you, you know, so as people have ideas, can we get the ideas out there? Uh, you can find, you know, connect with other institutions that might have similar uh, needs and interests and can then that build into something, snowball into something that becomes an actual uh, feature in Sakai, an improvement in Sakai, or any other Aperio project. <coughs> I'll also paste in, let's say, this Google form here. Any other comments, questions, ideas? I think another thing that's going to probably be discussed uh, somewhat at the is Sakai market, uh, Sakai Eleven marketing, and that's something I noticed came up on the chat there as well. There's ongoing discussion about what we can do to do a better job as a community to um, market at Sakai Eleven, get the word out about Sakai Eleven. It kind of ties in a little bit to the Educause announcement I made earlier, thinking if we can do, um, you know, find it. It's it's unlike you know, see if we can find institutions that might be interested in doing presentations at regional or um, uh, global conferences to highlight what's going on and how, how, it's, how it's benefiting um, their teaching and learning environment. Let's see.
let us give another minute here, give folks a chance to think. If there are nothing, we can always, you know, move on or uh, end early or whatever we need to do, but uh, give people a chance to think about it. or outcomes you'd like to see, or whatever, whatever it is. Okay, just give me a few more seconds, and then we'll move on, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, if there's no, if there's no uh, ideas being generated at the moment, then we'll just then move on on the uh, on the um, agenda here. So the other parts of the agenda basically are just we already talked a little bit about upcoming schedule. Um, so we're going to reschedule the January 27th one, but the other ones are if we and if we move to a um, every other week or second and fourth week, then we might move the February 3rd report back to I think the second week in February would be. Um, let's take a look. I'm assuming. Yeah, the second week in February would be the 10th, so that might move to the 10th if we move to that other format. Um, other than that, uh, any other, um, and we have some, a list of unscheduled topics. I see it was that a report on the Texas State Marketing Project the last semester. That would be nice. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I thought I had shaken this little cough here, but I guess not entirely. So any uh, ideas for topics? Uh, so Terry said, I don't remember what was decided about funds from the virtual conference. So Terry, that hasn't been decided yet. There's a, there's a group that is um, chaired by Wilma that is looking at ideas for how to use the funds. And as Wilma just mentioned, we were gonna hopefully get, um, you know, some, some feedback at Sakai Camp. So yeah, it's still being looked at as Dave mentioned. Yeah, I think you're right, Dave. I think lots of folks are uh, are just you know getting off a of vacation um, and getting. I think a lot of folks are uh, kind of backlogged and having to get caught up and reoriented after a long holiday. So uh, not surprising. There's probably not a lot of uh, ideas at the moment, and that's okay. So uh, if you think of anything, feel free to send me or Tricia Gordon or Matthew Burgess an email or all three of us so we can you know get it on the agenda uh, for a future time. Or if there's something you want to present or if you have some other ideas. I mean, we, it doesn't have to be a formal presentation. You could also have like a what's going on at your institution in terms of student workers, or you could have something along the lines of, you know, pedagogical issues or initiatives that are going on or that you'd like to get feedback from other teaching and learning folks on uh, or, or share what you're doing. So it's really open. Um, but <clears throat> so if you think of new topics, that'll be really welcome. And uh, I guess that would be it for today's meeting, unless uh, we want to use, unless, so let me just do a quick poll. Do folks want to uh, end this meeting a little early and get back to catching up for the uh, all the stuff you've got doing for the new year and the new semester, or do you want to look at uh, Morpheus a little bit? Early is good. Early is good. Okay. It sounds like we have a theme going there. So, um, we have a third. I think we got. I think. Uh, I think two is pretty pretty good start. Okay. <clears throat> so again, feel free to uh, to look at the Morpheus document. Think of um, topics that you know. Think of what's important to your institution and what you might want to have some discussion on. It doesn't have to be a formal presentation. It doesn't have to be a tool. But just uh, you know, any kind of this, uh, item you want for discussion or future, keep that in mind and. Uh, Thanks everybody and happy new year again and uh, um, and uh, thanks a lot and talk to you next time. And I will stop the recording now. <laughs>